Hey guys, NVAP here with a strategy overview for uh, Musketeer. Uh, this is the setup that we use here in NV4R 3v3s. So I thought this would be kind of a helpful video to show you since you know Musketeer is probably the second easiest class to play in 3v3. So anyway, also if y'all haven't already, go ahead and check out our main channel, Team NV Nation. Um, we post our clan matches on that channel. We have some other cool stuff like um, companion overviews and I mean companion spotlight. But anyway, um, that being said, let's get started. First, we're going to have a look at the um, we're going to have a look at the gear. Uh, you need the tower hat from uh, Moo Manchu. It gives hail of cannonballs and super strike. It doesn't matter what level it is as long as it gives Hail of Cannonballs and Super Strike. Um, same for the totem, the exact same thing. Hail of Cannonballs and Super Strike. Get these two pieces of gear at the Tower of Mu Manchu. It doesn't matter their level, just make sure it has those abilities. Uh, if you aren't sure where the Tower of Mu Manchu is, you probably should if you play this game very much. But in case you haven't, I linked the wiki down below and you can go ahead and look up what that is. Alright, or any of these pieces of gear. Um, so for the coat, you want something that gives Valor's armor. I have Ranchiro's Finery. I think there's also a level 20 version of this that works just as well. It's called um, Top Sergeant's Uniform or something like that. It also gives Valor's armor. Important thing is you get a coat with Valor's armor because this is an ability-based game for the most part. Uh, for the boots, you want the Revive Boots, um, Centipede's Shin Guards which you can get at the Skull Island Bazaar. Uh, you can just buy those. So it's really nice to have the Revives as a Musketeer because they have really, really great healing range. Um, for the pet, you want a Soul Reaver and a Burst Fire. Um, okay, now the Burst Fire is kind of necessary. Like, it's, it's kind of a must. Now, if you can get Soul Reaver, a Heal, or Tough on your pet, that's also a big bonus. Um, so yeah, I need to finish training this pet. Um, for the weapon, this is the best uh, weapon for 3v3 in the game. It gives um, sniper shot and haywire shot, the haywire thunder rifle. Uh, it also gives five range. Um, yeah, the reason why this gun's particularly good is for the sniper shot. Really great for combos um, early in the game. And it's also one of the weapons that gives five range. And range is really important as a musketeer. All right, for the eye patch, you have a patch of Tichi's Blind Luck. I think I'm saying that right. But it gives Hurricane Round a really powerful AoE attack. Um, so really nice to have. And for the charm, you're going to want to use Sprocket Key, uh, which gives Purge Magic. Uh, this is a detrimental piece of gear to have. If you don't have it, um, the other team can tank up a unit and run it at your section of the line. You won't be able to purge it off. So this is something you must have uh, for team PvP. You must have it. So, yeah, and it's a really easy drop. You can get it at Bishop or Kane. Um, again, consult the wiki if you aren't exactly sure about it. Um, it'll be in the description down below. And for the ring... We have the Southern Cross Gem, which gives Valor's Fortress. This is the best ring for musketeers in the game, and I highly recommend farming it. You can get it at Fire Guardian. That's always where I farm mine. Again, consult the wiki on that if you think there's a, a better place for you to farm for it. Um, so that's pretty much the gear setup. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the, um, the abilities, what exactly you want to train. Uh, that would be in powers. Alright, so this is what you want to train. You want to train fast too, as I said before. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find that anywhere. Where is fast too? Uh, yeah, here we go. Always train fast too. The reason why you want to train fast too is so you can rush down the f field faster and you can rush back when you need to get healed. Um, always important to have fast too, no matter what class you are. Uh, even Musketeer. Musketeers do a lot of moving in Team PvP especially. Um, you also want to have Spooky 2 trained because your bombs are powered off of Mojo. 
Um, so you get a good 15% extra mojo from doing that. Um, you want to train Witch Hunter, uh, particularly if you're against witchies, um, because they'll try and cast spells in your area and you'll get a good chain off of that. So really great if you can have that as well. Um, Staffy 2 is just so that you can train Spooky 2, so that's why I have that trained if y'all are wondering. Um, I think I've pretty much covered everything that you need to train on this part. I'm just going to show you my deck, my actual deck, because there are like a few things you want to train from here. Uh, you want to train Valor's Shield and Ruse. And I have this trained right here, which is really great for buffing witchies. Uh, but the reason, the main reason why I have that trained is so that, um, is so that, you know, I can have a refresh. And I'll put this actually somewhere up here because you might want to use this earlier in the game. So you train this so you can have this right here. Uh, and I think that's pretty much all you train for Musketeer. Yeah, that's pretty much all you train for Musketeer. Anyway, let's have a look at a deck setup for, um, for Musketeer here. This is um, the deck setup you would use in a 3v3. You got Gunnery right here. You got Snipe, great for combos. You got your Emergency Veiler's Fortress, because at this point in the game, you got you know people trying to do combo shots and bomb the heck out of you. And you know if you have one of these to save a unit that's particularly low health, it's incredibly useful. So yeah, you want it at roughly the third third spot right here. And you got your combo hits right here, your Ghost Whale, and your Soul Reaver. Um, and as always, Purge on number 6. Because you never know when they're going to rush or tank up a unit. So always have your Purge right there, just as precaution. Your 10 round buff, Wind Spirit, a Refresh, your Group Heal. And the Calm of the Troops if you have a Witchy. Now if you don't have a Witchy, you can just take this ability and put it right in the back of the... Um, right in the back of the deck because it's going to be useless. You got Ruse right here and you got your mini fort. And right here, Powder Cake, Powder Monkey's Palisade, you use this particularly, um, I mean, you can you can lay those down and uh, shoot them with your Bonnie and the Scatter Blast. It's a really great combo, so I have them up front for that. And you got your Scatter Traps and you got your Bear Trap. Um, you can place that in front of your uh, enemies so that you know they can't move around as easily early in the game really great for that you got your tempest of torpedoes those are the bombs that knock people back and of course your barricades are always going to be useful um, you got overwatch in case for a rush and here's 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 the rest of it um, you know, cannonballs a walk in darkness a revive a Valor's fortress and you can just have a look at all the other stuff I'm not going to go ahead and read them all for you, so uh, just copy this as best you can. This is a pretty dang good setup for um, Musketeer, so I'm going to really quickly pause on each page and let you see it so you can copy it down. And there you go. And the last page isn't as important, but if you really want to, you can copy that down too. Alright, so... Um, that's the deck setup for Musketeers. Going to really quickly show you what companions you want to use for the most part in Team PvPs, particularly 3v3, um, which is what we'll be doing. You want your Bonnie Anne, you want your Chantel Livingston, and you want your Louis Labisque. Um, another option that you can do is you can use um, Nausicaa, particularly if you are the last uh, person on the sigil. Say if you're doing the double privy musketeer or um, privy double musket, one of the muskets will have Nausicaa instead of Louis Labisque most of the time. So anyway, I'm going to really quickly um, go over uh, how to set them, what talents and stuff to give them. Uh, Bonnie Ann, you want to give her double tap 2, return fire 1, burst fire 2, and overwatch 3. Now again, this is set wrong, not a big difference, but you know, uh, double tap through or replaces the, um, it double taps off of the um, base stat ratio instead of the accuracy to dodge ratio, and the accuracy to dodge ratio is better 
um, against musketeers uh, than the agility ratio because musketeers have a lot of agility so um, you're going to hit more easily on the double taps if you have double tap two so yeah just train double tap two and return fire one instead uh, here's the talents I gave her I gave her agility four I gave her rough four tough four accuracy four and finished off with a little bit of dodge there so anyway that's her setup um, here's Chantel uh, this is how I have her set right here um, overwatch three burst fire two double tap two and the same talents as Bonnie agility four accuracy four damage four health four and a little bit of dodge to finish it up um, Louis Lebisque he'll have overwatch three double tap two and quick draw two and again the same talents agility four accuracy four damage four and tough four with a little bit of dodge to finish it up uh, and of course they have abilities which I'll be demonstrating um, on the battle board in a second because I'm at my PvP house uh, I'm going to really quickly explain what, what those are as well really quickly so Bonnie Ann she has her second wind which she can hit like anywhere on the board with uh, it does more of course if the unit is more damaged it can do up to 25 percent unlimited range so great to have she has a scatter blast which is five by nine I think um, again as I mentioned before really good for the powder keg combo um, and she has the stock assault which is just a good solid attack that doesn't trigger any um, any musketeer reaction hits like Nazca's true grit so it's really great for that if you know, there's just a little bit of health and you don't want to trigger anything. And for Chantel, she has um, two snipes. Again, great for combos. Um, they can hit pretty much anywhere on the board. Um, and you got Cloud Spirit, uh, Agility Buff, and you have Super Strike right here. So um, that's Chantel for you, her abilities. Louis Lebisque, Rain of Mortar Shells. Um, uh, which is really great because it's six range and it can hit over and, and if you go um, and the edge of it can reach seven range so again really great it it works the same way bombs do on your musketeer and you got your bear trap lastly so those are the abilities you have on those companions and that's the reason why I like to use them a lot uh, also really quick look at Nausicaa uh, she's probably the best tanking musketeer unit there is in this game um, so I'm going to really quickly go over what she has. She has, um, she has uh, a super strike at point blank range, um, a mega, and a uh, epic. And this ability gives her double um, her movement, which her movement's seven. I think it's either seven or seven and a half. So it's like 14 movement down the field. Um, so really OP. And I have her set with quick adjust, um, burst fire two, uh, true grit two and double tap and again same talents as all my other companions for musketeer agility accuracy tough um, and rough and a little bit of dodge to finish it off so, all right so i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate those abilities for you down below i'm stuck uh, that's better all right so here we go i step on the sigil right here I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate some of these things. I'm going to get them all in one demonstration because I have both my musketeers here. Now I have my other musketeers set a little bit differently because I'm experimenting with Overwatch 5 on my other musketeer. It's the reason why I didn't use them for this video. Use my other musketeer for it. So if you have two musketeers, then you know you can experiment with the other one. Otherwise, I recommend the setup that I'm talking about in this video. So um I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate for you the abilities on these companions. All right. 
Um, so you have Chantel going to demonstrate the snipe um, next turn, and I'll just demonstrate Exeter's slow, what exactly it does. This is his best slow, which lasts for three turns. He has two other slows as well. Um, so let's move. All right. Now you don't usually use Exeter, but he can be nice against swashbucklers in particular in team PVPs. I use him a lot for that, so um, I'll show you exactly what that slow did in a second. It reduced their movement by 50%. I'll hold my mouse over to show you. Um, so yeah. And here's what one of Chantel snipes look like and what exactly it does. Uh, gonna have to wait that debuff off. I'm kind of regretting doing that. So as you can see, you do that with a snipe from your musketeer and two mourn songs from the privateer after a bomb spam, and that would kill a unit. It's pretty dang effective. Um, just gonna send Pepe forward to do bombs for you. And I'm going to do this right here, the agility buff. All right, there's the agility buff for you. Sending Pepe forward. All righty. It's going to move forward right here at the other musketeer. I'm going to keep moving forward. Alrighty. And as you can see, I'm going to go the longest range I possibly can with these bombs just to show you, just to give you all an idea of why these bombs are particularly useful really really long range six range seven if you go all the way to the edge of the bombs and of course if you step on them it does a really nice bit of damage um, so i'm going to go ahead and make a little musket line with both of my uh, muskets to demonstrate the um the range of these musketeer units um and why particularly they're they're useful in a team pvp setup uh, i'll take a second for my pets to get out of the way All right, good, that slows off. <laughs> that was annoying as heck. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All righty, about to demonstrate the range of these units. As you can see, Exeter, Pepe, um, Chantel, um, all those units, and, and Bonnie Ann, they all have four and a half movement, um, precisely. Uh, a half movement is when, for example, like I'll show you right here, a diagonal is one and a half movements. So, um, as you can see, that's one and a half, two, three, four. So, uh, that's how much movement Bonnie Ann and Chantel, uh, Louis Lebisque, and um, Exeter have. Now, at this range, um, Bonnie Ann can hit. She can also hit with her Scatter Blast as well. Um, Chantel can hit as well because she has five range. Uh, she can't hit because she only has four range. Um, but she's got some other really useful stuff, which I'll show in just a bit. Um, now the musketeer, since they have a five range weapon, they have the, um, they have the, the snipe, uh, 
I think it's keen eyes or something like that ability you get from the trainer. So you actually have six range, so that's really useful if you have a five range weapon. Um, again, Louis the Bis can hit at this range, but um, well, Exeter, if you were to move up right here, um, if you were to move up, I'll just move him up to show you what I'm talking about. He would not be able to hit because he only has four range. Um, what's really great about Nausicaa is she has seven range. She can hit um, all the way over here. And she can also use this attack, which makes it so that she'd be able to hit something way up here. She'd have 14 movement. Um, so with her regular charges, she has seven movement, or just seven movement in general. With this right here, the centaur charge, she has 14 movement. It's really OP because she can hit just about anywhere on the board if she's not slowed. So um, anyway, that is, um, that's the Musketeer set that we here at Envy use. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, I'll be making uh, more videos for the other classes. Uh, I'll probably be doing either Swashbuckler or Buccaneer next. Um, actually scratch that. I'll be doing Witchy next. Uh, anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Um, also, be sure to subscribe to Team Envy Nation if you have not already done so. Um, that's pretty much it for this video, and peace out for now.